Well, it is one of the most notorious crimes ever in central New York, and now 10 years after her conviction, ABC's 2020 will air a two-hour special tonight on Stacey Castor. The program will feature News Channel 9's Jeff Kulikowski and Christy Casciano. You have this really surreal and almost unbelievable story of a mom who may have tried to kill her daughter to cover up killing two of her husbands. When you think about it, she came pretty close to getting away with it. It didn't work out that way. Stacy Castor is convicted of murdering her husband, convicted of attempted murder with her own daughter, and she's walking towards us to sit down again. And we wonder, what is she going to say this time? Jeff Kulikowski and I are scheduled to talk with David Muir this evening on News Channel 9 starting at 5 o'clock. We're going to talk about his interview, incredible interview with Stacey Castor post-verdict. Yeah, we'll also have some more clips from tonight's 2020, uh, including interviews with, with both of us, I think three and a half hours plus with each of us back in November. Yeah, it was a very long process, kind of very different being on the other side of the camera, yeah. don't you think? Yeah, oh, I yeah. absolutely think so. You know, I think for me it was something that, at least during the case, three plus weeks, I was living, living it every single moment of the day and and try to hit those deadlines and now 10 years later doing a little research and then having somebody else ask you about it kind of having a chance to reflect you don't do a lot of that but a uh, chance to reflect on what we were feeling uh, what the community was thinking and I think you'll agree with me there has never been a case quite like this in central New York I can't we have covered many many yeah. murder cases many uh, but nothing like this can't think of this I'll be interested to see how it turns out yeah. And so won't we all, they call it Black Widow, the special two-hour edition of 2020 on Stacey Castor tonight right here on News Channel 9 at 9 o'clock.